Here's key principle number four, the power of personal networks. So how many of you have walked into a room, there's a big group of people, and you just kind of walk over to the corner, maybe grab a bite to eat or food or something, and you don't talk to anybody? I know I've been there before. You guys are in this, this room right now with like-minded people that want to help each other. This is an amazing opportunity to create a network of friends, a network of associates, a network of people that can help you succeed in life. So I've been told my entire life, I'm not by any means the smartest kid on the block. That is for sure. But I've always trusted this rule of it's all about who you know. Now, of course, being in school and getting good grades and utilizing the education is so important to be able to succeed. But also being able to create the network of friends and of family um, and of of, of associates, you guys can really make it happen, okay? So you can think about it as, as you're networking with new people, that you can be looking at maybe their potential employees or potential investors, maybe a potential mentor that you're talking to. Um, you know, these are key, key concepts while you're building your network. Um, one thing that I was also taught is that when you are building your network, try to remember that it's not always about just you, right? You gotta get to know that other person. Ask them about themselves. Ask about what they do, where they're from, um, or, uh, or you know, how, what they like to do in their free time. These types of things will help you to build this network and they'll see a, tr a true and genuine friendship creating. So it's good to be able to have the foresight to know that they might be potential investors or potential employers or employees or potential mentors, potential customers. But you also need to be genuine in, in working with them and talking to them, get to, getting to know them as a, as a person. That'll help you to succeed, okay? Developing and maintaining your network will be among the most valuable long-term investments you make. So look around at your friends that you brought with you today and think about these friends might be able to help me and I might be able to help them. And as you continue in your next grade, whether you're junior or going into senior year, what new people am I going to be able to meet? What uh, professors might be able, I might be able to get to know? And then when I go to college, who am I going to meet there? And, and get excited about that. It's such a neat opportunity to be able to get to know new people and build that personal network because there's a huge power in building that personal network. Okay, so here's some ideas. Most of you guys have your business ideas already. That's phenomenal. You wanna get involved in business or entrepreneurship. So here are a few things that I put together just to, just to be able to think about it. So you can be your own boss as an entrepreneur. Who would like to be their own boss? Awesome. It's kind of a fun thing to do, right? Be your own boss. Now, you can do something you love. Of the ideas that you guys have thought of, how many of those ideas are some, some things that you love to do? By raise of hands. Okay. So the ideas you're thinking, it might be a hobby or it might be something that you've enjoyed doing in the past. You can do something you love. There's uncapped potential, right? You've always, you might have heard the, the phrase, the more risk, the, the, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. You know, in entrepreneurship and starting your own business, that's very true. Um, but there is an uncapped potential. So you can see that positive side of things, okay? Um, now, some of the other ideas that you have to remember is that if you're your own boss, everything comes down to you. So if a, a customer's unhappy, or an investor's not happy with something, guess who takes the blame? You do, because you take that full responsibility. You're the boss, so you need to understand that everything comes down to you. So take the full accountability. People will, will respect you very much for that. And if you're wrong, admit it, it's okay. But if you can take that full responsibility, it'll help you to be a better person and to serve your customers better. One thing is, is uh, sometimes hard, but you guys can do it, is just leave your ego at the door. You know, right now is a perfect time because people want to help you. You're young, you're aggressive, you're energetic, you're innovative. 
you can bring these qualities to the table and these mentors or professors or investors, they want to help you succeed. They want to see you succeed. And as, just as long as you're able to stay humble, work with them, ask them their advice. I'll be honest, at least two or three times a week, I'm on the phone with one of my mentors. Now, hopefully I'm not bothering them too much. But I love to talk to my mentors because they've been there and done it. They've built and sold multiple businesses before. And they have way more experience than I do. So I'm able to work with them and learn from them. And that's something that you guys have an opportunity to do as well. Okay? Um, here are some things not to do. Here are some key concepts not to do. If you got those pens out, keep them out here. Okay? Things not to do when you're starting a new business or as an entrepreneur, okay? One thing that I, <laughs> that I see quite often is that somebody has created the best idea, the most amazing idea possible that they don't want to share it with anybody else because it's too special. It's, it's too uh, top secret that if they shared it with somebody else, they're afraid that they're going to lose it or somebody's going to take their idea. Well, somebody once told me that if, if just if somebody stole your business idea, if that was enough to drive your business in the ground, then you don't have a good enough idea or a good enough business. Okay? So one thing to, to, to think about is you're coming up with these businesses, share them with others. Because as you talk to other people about these businesses, they're going to be able to help you with maybe some new ideas. Help perfect that business. So be open and share your ideas and your thoughts. Most people are not going to sign a document that say, um, I won't share this with other people. A non-disclosure agreement is what, what it's called. Um, so just share it. Be open. That way your creativity can flow and other people can help you as well. Okay? So don't hide it. Don't keep it a secret. <laughs> um, how many of the ideas that were raised are internet type businesses? Okay, um, building a website or something like that. Um, if, if you build it, who, what movie am I talking about? You guys all know it very well, right? So uh, the field of dreams, if you build it, they will come. In business, it doesn't happen that way. You've got to make it happen. So if you've got a great idea, whether it's online or whether, whether it's a service you're going to provide to your neighbors or to your friends, if you build it alone, that's not going to help your business succeed. If you build it, they won't come. But you can go out and get them to come, okay? You can be proactive. Use that energy. Use that salesmanship that you're all doing right now in school. And that will help your business succeed. But remember, sell first. If you build, that was the last thing to do, right? Sell, design, and then build. So if you build it, they will come. Wrong mentality. 